things. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to solve for K star. And what is K star? K star is our capital to labor ratio, right? That's the K, and the star part is in steady state. So we're going to solve for K star by setting, which we know, S times A times my F of K, right? My function of K I know is going to be that K raised to the beta equal to our steady state condition, which is our N plus delta times K. So remember, this is our condition for steady state. To get to K star, this is our condition. Again, just as a review here, this is my savings times my income. So this is the amount of investment that I'm able to do in the economy. And this on the right hand side is the amount of investment that I need to do in order to stay in steady state. So I am replacing the depreciated capital and I'm adding enough capital for the population growth rate. So that's where we're gonna start. So we're gonna solve for it by doing that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, since, since beta, uh, since beta is uh, less than one, it's actually between zero and one. To make this easier, to make it a, um, to make it a, not have a negative number in, in an exponent anywhere, I'm going to divide both sides by k to the beta. And what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is I have s times a k to the beta equals n plus delta times k. So I'm going to divide both sides by k to the beta, this k to the beta. Those k's to the beta will, will uh, cancel. So I'm going to get s times a equal to n plus delta, and this is going to be k raised to the 1 minus beta. The reason why we get the 1 minus beta over here is because when we're dividing our levels of uh, when we're dividing anything with exponents, we're just taking the exponents and subtracting it. So one minus beta. Okay, we're going to divide both sides then by n plus delta. Divide by n plus delta, so those will cancel. What this is going to get us is this is going to get us s times a divided by s plus oh n plus delta. Sorry, n plus delta equals to k 1 minus beta. And the way that we're going to get rid of this exponent, which I know we've done in class before, is we're going to raise it to the reciprocal, which means we have to do the same thing to this side, 1 over 1 minus beta. And this is going to result in our k star, now that we've solved it out, we can call it k star, is going to equal to, we've got s times a over n plus delta, that whole thing raised to the 1 over 1 minus beta. So notice what we've done is we have solved for our steady state capital to labor ratio. So in fact, when you're doing any sort of problems where you're given the values of, N, of S, A, N plus delta, beta, you can just plug it into here and you'll get that value out because you've done the math before. Now, of course, if you're afraid of this because it's like, you know, there's an exponent and everything, you can just do it, put the numbers in first, right? You could put the numbers in up here first, which is what most people do and solve out, and that's fine too, which we'll, we'll do that when we get to the example problem.